My name is Elon Rosen, and I am a PhD student here at Stanford in the Department of Applied Physics. I work in the group of Professor David Goldhaber Gordon. We study how electrical currents travel through two dimensional materials, materials so thin that quantum mechanically they act like a two dimensional, not a three dimensional system. The most well known 2D material is probably graphene, a sheet of carbon one atom thick. I study magnetic semiconductors made from heavy elements like bismuth and tellurium. When cooled to a fraction of a degree above absolute zero, something strange happens in these semiconductors. Electrons stop being able to travel through them, except at their edges. At each edge, electrons can move, but only in one direction. We call this the quantum anomalous Hall effect, or QAH effect for short. How do we know that electrons can only move along the edges of QAH materials? It turns out that all we have to do is a voltage measurement. Suppose we have a chunk of material, we attach electrical contacts, and we flow an electrical current from left to right. In a normal material like copper or silicon, or even graphene, we would then find a voltage buildup from left to right. But were the film a QAH material, the voltage from left to right would be zero. Instead, there would be a voltage from top to bottom. Stranger still, this voltage would be related to the current flowing through the material by a factor of Planck's constant divided by the charge of the electron squared, which is about 25 kilo ohms. Here's a picture of an actual device I made. In the center is a thin film of quantum anomalous Hall material. The material is covered by a gate. The gate lets me control how many electrons want to be in the QAH material at the same time. It's the same as the gate that turns each transistor on or off in the computer you are listening on right now. Um, surrounding the QAH material are a number of electrical contacts which let me measure the voltage around the device. When I cooled this device close to absolute zero, about negative 273 degrees centigrade, and sent a current from left to right, I indeed measured a voltage from top to bottom corresponding to 25 kilo ohms. My team joined forces with the National Institute of Standards and Technology to go a step further. Using high precision instrumentation, we were able to show that this voltage is related to Planck's constant divided by the charge of the electron squared with a precision of at least one part in a million. Why is this important? Instead of using fundamental constants to check the value of our measurement, what if we could use our measurement to check the value of the fundamental constants? Standard units of measurement have been important for commerce since antiquity. Historically, standards were some object, for example, a platinum sphere that we decided to call one kilogram. To check how much is one kilogram, we would need to make a comparative measurement against this platinum sphere. This presents a logistical challenge to a globalized economy. Our work is part of a new dream, all electrical standards. Because the voltage we measure in our devices is related only to the fundamental constants of the universe, two people anywhere can make the same measurement and know that they got the same value without having to directly compare their measurements. Thank you. Thank you.